like I said, people will pay money to see clowns. Do not assume that because people are watching you, people are liking what you're putting out, that people are seeing you as a true and authentic person. Hello everybody, my name is Desiree Cummings. On this channel, I help you find your health and your happiness through growing in spirituality, lifestyle videos, and fitness inspiration. So today, we're talking about how to be more confident and productive, okay? So I do have a quick announcement about an, another video that's coming right after this one that I actually recorded before this one. Um, but after recording it, it was just, on a level that I felt I needed to explain some things before I put out that video. And that video is gonna be about finding your authentic self, okay? I've been keeping things kind of um, surface level, very great advice, advice that I would give to someone that's you know coming into therapy or something. But I do want to go a little bit deeper. Um, so I have a video coming out called Finding Your Authentic self that is so tied to everything that I've been talking about with happiness, um, you know, learning to be happy, self-love, Lord, that's a big one, um, getting closer to God, all of those things will be kind of, will come together in full circle with that video, I believe, okay? So be looking out for that one. Okay, let's not shake the camera. Okay, you guys, I'm going to shoot out five tips really quick on how to be more confident and productive, and it's going to change your life, okay? Number one, start on the inside. Please watch my previous videos. You guys, all of those previous videos that I have done so far on how to be more happy, all of those things, um, that's going to help give you a good foundation on how to be more confident and be more productive. Okay, because um, going, going deep within, learning self-love, all of those things, spending time with God every single day, remember, every single day, start your morning connecting with God, all of those things are going to help you to be more confident and more productive because there's enough people who are using their social media to appear to be a certain way but they're not actually that way and if you're not confident on the inside, and you just try to appear to be confident on the outside, you guys, that's acting, okay? And that makes you no different than a clown. So please, don't do that, do, because it is obvious. I, I Don't go by how many followers you have on Instagram, okay? Like I said, people will pay money to see clowns. Do not assume that because people are watching you, people are liking what you're putting out, that people are seeing you as a true and authentic person. They're seeing you as someone putting on a show. You are entertainment, okay? So just be careful that whoever, whatever, and whoever that you are projecting, it is who you are on the inside. I go off on my sabbaticals to fix the inward man because I'm not gonna put on a show for anybody, okay? I'm not a clown. I'm not putting on a show for somebody. Um, nothing wrong with entertaining people. Nothing wrong. I mean, you know, they got people doing the things in the circuit of the soul and they're flipping around, they're jumping through fire. Like, it's awesome. It's no disrespect. But if you are living like that day to day to day to day to day, nah. <laughs> okay, nobody was meant to be a clown 24 7. Okay, so I, I just need you to cool it. I need you to focus. Okay? Number two. Posture, okay? This is both inward and outward, okay? One of the reasons why I love ballet is because it forces you to have a certain posture. You begin to learn, oh, this this feels good, okay? You know, it becomes a habit, okay? And your posture affects your mood, believe it or not, okay? Slumping over like this, no. Sitting up in a, in a posture that says you respect yourself, you have something to offer, God is my father, Hallelujah, yes, that's what we're looking for, okay? But I wanna specifically encourage you to have a posture that flows from the inside. Again, you are transformed by the renewing of your mind that is in the Bible, and it is so true. Renew your mind, renew your inward posture, and it will change your outward posture, okay? 
All right, have a vision, okay, of a successful and happy you. Have a vision of a successful and happy you. If you posture yourself in such a way, both in, by inside, I also mean in your mind, okay? Um, how you feel about you on the inside, you have a vision of yourself because thoughts become feelings and feelings become action, right? So you have this vision of the successful and happy you. You are completely posturing yourself for success, okay? Number three, define your purpose in life. Define your purpose in life. Don't find your purpose, define your purpose, okay? Some of you need to refine, refine, okay? Your purpose, all right? Now, if you're sitting around waiting on your purpose to hit you on the head, I got news for you, it's not. Okay, what do you enjoy doing? What are you passionate about? That's why sometimes you need to turn off the TV, you need to turn off your secular music, you need to turn off celebrities, you need to turn off whatever it is that's speaking into your life. They are not your God. You need to turn it off. You need to find out who you are, okay? So I did this video before the other one because if you don't know who you are, that's gonna be hard to know what you're generally interested in. But even if your interests are contaminated, it's okay. Part of the refinement process is exploring different things. Volunteer in different places. Try different careers. Who cares you went to school and you didn't do what you went to school for? So did like, I don't know how many, a lot of percentage of people who went to college end up not doing their degree. It's okay. It's a waste of money. We all know that. Calm down. It's okay. We're going to be all right. The most important thing is that you define your own purpose, okay? Um, a lot of people have been taught that you have to sort of discover your purpose, um, and there's some truth to that, but I want you to intentionally make a decision about who it is that you want to be. Um, so as you're exploring these different things, I want you to think about who you want to be. What do you want your purpose to be? If you want your purpose to be that you adopt a whole village of kids, then adopt a whole village of kids, you know? Um, but I do think there needs to be a balance of making decisions and exploring with God and discovering your authentic self. Those two should go together. Um, that way you're not just doing something that you thought and, you know, cause sometimes God has a different plan than we do, right? Um, so it's just a combination of not just sitting stagnant, you're making decisions because God doesn't expect you to just sit around and, you know, not do nothing all day waiting to hear an audible voice say, I want you to adopt a whole village of kids. Like that's just not, you know what I mean? So have a combination of exploring and also being open to the fact that God does have something specific that he hasn't revealed to you yet. Okay. Moving on. Number four. Okay. Stop aiming for your idea of perfection, okay? If you wanna be more confident and productive, stop aiming for your idea of perfection, okay? I know this seems counterproductive, but listen, hear me out, okay? You have to allow and even expect mistakes because mistakes have lessons in them, okay? That actually make you a more complete person. Okay, so hear me out, because if, if you spend your life trying to avoid making errors, or when you do make errors, you allow shame and OMG to come in, I mean, that's, that's a mistake, okay? That is a mistake. The mistake is looking at your mistakes wrong. Your mistakes are part of your learning process, okay? As long as your heart is in the right place to, to grow, to be a better person, to be the man or woman God wants you to be, Mistakes are going to happen. You learn, you grow. Okay. Um, the delays are not denials. Okay. Um, you can be more confident. You can be more productive when you know that, okay, I have not got any sales this week. I have not got anyone to sign up with me this week, but you know what? I know why I'm doing this. I know that this is, this is something that I was meant to do. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing it until I get some success because that success is waiting for me out there. Okay. Um, there's someone that needs what I have to offer, or there's someone that does need to hear this gospel that I'm preaching. You know, you keep going, okay? 
Um, and like I said, get out there and do. So number five, last one, okay? I think I said this in another video, but look your best as much as possible. Look your best as much as possible. Um, you look great, you feel great, you do great. I think that's self-explanatory. <laughs> Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video. If this has been a blessing to you, please like it. Um, if you didn't, hit, hit a thumbs down. Let me know. Give me feedback on if you are liking these videos, if they are blessing you or not. Also, I would like you to leave a comment below about your experience with being more confident. Okay? Because I think when we're more confident, we're automatically more productive. Okay? Um, and when we're able to be more productive, we gain confidence. So those two feed into themselves. So please share with me how you are able to be more productive day by day by day. What do you do? What do you say to yourself? What sort of self-talk do you give yourself that helps you to be more productive? Even when you're feeling lazy, even when you're feeling tired, even when you're like, one more day of not getting anybody to sign up for my whatever, I just might you know, whatever, whatever it is, how, what do you be telling yourself that helps you to keep going? That's what I want to know. Please leave a comment below. Bless this community. We are here to improve. We are here to grow spiritually. We are here to learn about our, our a, a better lifestyles, including fitness, health, and happiness. So contribute to this community. That would be such a blessing to all of us. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Bye. Last thing, y'all. Number six. Okay, so this is a freebie. This is a bonus. If you're spending so much time looking over here or looking over there and not focusing on your own purpose, that's why you're not being productive. Okay, that was a bonus. That was a bonus.